I just used the brake on my hand to slow it down. got this in the mail the other day and I've been using it for about maybe two to three weeks now. As you can see, it does not look brand new. I have definitely been putting this thing through its paces and testing it out. And I didn't actually think, you know, there's a lot of one wheels and a lot of other things out there. And I didn't think I would like an electric skateboard as much as I do. But after, after using this thing, I absolutely love riding this. This is their longboard version and it has, and just let's kind of go over the specs here. Actually, I, I've already unboxed it, but I put it back in the box for the purpose of this video. And here's the things you get. You know, you get a little instruction manual, and I will go over some of the specs and show you some of the things you get with it. By the way, it's all controlled by this. Power on right here, and you're going to control up and then brake, and there is a reverse. And there is a little lanyard, but I got a little crazy and was waving my arms around about to fall, and then that lanyard broke. I am going to tie that lanyard back off, putting that aside. It comes with a charger, and the charger, I think, think is a it's a 1.5 amp charger it comes with a little adjustment tool for adjusting the trucks this tool will fit everything on that board by the way it comes with an allen key that's tucked away right there it's got several bolts um, nuts if you need to like t-grip on that very good handy item i keep this with me actually everywhere i'm riding usb-c charging cable goes to that thing right there, your little hand grip. So that's it for the box. Let's toss the box aside. Let's just kind of like go over the, the board itself here. So open up the manual here. You know, obviously always wear your helmet. I wear a helmet everything I do. Y'all can say whatever you want about me, but I'm wearing my helmet. Number one, you see the battery bank right there. And I think the battery is a 4,000 milliamp capacity battery. It comes with, uh, and the output on it is a 117.6 watt output. And the charging time's between three and five, three and four hours. And it, it actually charges pretty quick because it's not a massive battery. Let me just turn it on here. To turn this on, you're gonna hold that down. When you hold that down and check out this instant on. That's it, that little switch right there. I have been riding this. I just rode it this morning. so. Listen to that, and you see how it's an instant stop. That's really cool. And it's a, this is a three, I think it's a 350 watt hub motor right there. So the power is a 72 millimeter hub motor right there. And the single drive power out of this is 350 watts as far as output power. And the wheels are the PU, which I think that's polyurethane, 72 millimeter wheels. You can see the width of those wheels right there. Capacities, uh, oh, the remote, I guess that's 200 milliamp uh, battery inside the remote. So you don't have to put batteries in it. It's a charging remote. Uh, it uses 2.4 gigahertz transmission, so it uses a Wi-Fi transmission. This is not Bluetooth, it's Wi-Fi. How about that? And the control distance can go up to 10 meters, so from 30 feet away, I can control this board. So you're asking why would I want to do that? Well, when it flies out from under you, you can stop it and actually bring it back to you. The overall weight of this thing is... 4.9 kg, which I don't know what that is in pounds, but I can tell y'all it's not a very heavy board at all. It's easy to grab and carry. I do wish there was a handle here, but you know what? You can just grab it like that. And I love this shape of this board. It is a, this is maple. So this is actually stacked. I think it's a seven layer maple board. It has a little bit of flex to it in that middle, but not a lot. And now the, the controller. So the remote controller has four modes you can go right now i'm in mode number four obviously i'm wide open everywhere i go and then you there's one two three four and i did break each one of these modes down i will show you here at the end of this i will show you each mode because it is varying speed three and four i didn't really tell that much of a difference so the range their claimed range on it i haven't maxed it out yet but i've went pretty far on it is between eight and eleven miles as far as on one charge and the overall length of this thing is a little over 37 inches that way right there and total weight capacity on the top of this thing is 220 pounds so it can definitely hold me. So let me go ahead and give you some ride testing and show you I did take it down to a little park and I rode it around the lake. And obviously I'm no, I don't claim to be any type of big time skateboard rider, but this is really starting to come into my, I'm really starting to kind of figure this out and get like a good smooth feel on it. 
it's almost like you're just levitating down the trail. I will get my uh, GPS out here in a minute and see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna go through the modes here. Dead stop. This is full throttle, number one. Oh, after riding on four for so long, that's actually making me a worse rider. It looks like three miles an hour on number one. Number two, still at three, ah, uh, five miles an hour. There we go, number three. Oh, I feel a little boost. That had a boost on it right there. Now it already feels different. Three, got up to 10. On speed level four, there you go. I seem to be holding 11, 12. You know, three and four doesn't seem like that much of a difference, honestly. Feels, you know what's funny is riding a board like this down through here, it feels way faster than 11 miles an hour. But one thing, as long as you're on flat ground like this, I am really surprised on how, how smooth this thing rides. This thing rides extremely smooth. It looks like we're 12 has been my max. It looks like I topped out at 13 miles per hour. The average speed was eight miles per hour on this thing. Obviously it's gonna vary what, however lighter or heavier you are, it's gonna vary a lot. And it looks like I'm still right at two bars and that's been riding all day long. So yeah, there it is everybody. I did the, the little walk through and I did the testing on this thing. Who is this good for? I think this would be great for anybody just kind of kicking around on the beach or just riding around maybe a parking lot or somebody just wants to ride up and down their block or on a college campus or something like that. I love something I can pick up and just carry with me like that. One charge could last you a week as if you're not riding it a lot. But remember, it is also a skateboard even without the controller. I have had nothing but a blast on this this is something i will be riding off and on i'm getting ready to do a trip to florida and i'm going to be burning the beaches up on a longboard who doesn't do love doing that that's all i got today everybody on the karama electric longboard see you all in the next video let's get out of here Woo.